This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Cryptzone and this is season 2 of Minecraft episode 2. Now I would really like to ask you guys to stay tuned until the end because I've got a very nice big announcement for you right at the end. So what this video is about is the village that I have discovered just on the other side of the hill and uh, in the meantime I actually went and created a road that goes there plus a railway system and I just want to quickly take you guys there and show you what the village looks like so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info just to make sure that I don't bore you guys to death I'm going to speed up the walking process just a little bit Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Oh, boy. Know that the ride or die. Know that the ride or die. And here we are. Um, let's just quickly put my uh, minecart back so that we can have a way back home to be riding in style. <laughs> I put up this beacon obviously to indicate to me where this village was located. I'm not on a very very big island, this place is really not that huge. So finding the village was quite easy. Um, and it also looks like we're on some kind of a coastline or it could just be a massive lake. I haven't explored anywhere further than this village yet. So the village is very small and um, it's really it's strangely laid out. Um, the automatic generation of the villages are not um, very very spectacular even the houses inside is not built in a way that any normal human being I think will build a house inside but uh, in general this is a little farming community um, I don't see any um, what you guys call it, um, vegetables or anything but there's a lot of wild horses maybe they were horse farmers or just plain villagers just living here. Uh, I tried to speak to this guy and he wasn't uh, giving me much of anything. Some of the guys are traders and then uh, here we have a priest. We actually have a priest in the village. So this is a really weird layout for a church. Yeah. As I said, the, the, the villagers are living in these weird little houses. It doesn't have much in it. Um, so we've got a priest in the village. I think there's a tradesman and we definitely have a smith. Um, I saw a smith here. Um, yeah, the house is just weird, but it did give me some ideas. Especially for the tables. I used to put like trap doors on the tables, and I see these guys use pressure plates, which actually m makes more sense. The table looks better. So that'll be my next way of building tables. Um, they use some concrete. This is obviously a kind of workshop place with a stone cutter. So we've got a stone cutter in the village. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There's uh, the horses, like wild horses. There's the smith. So we've got the smith. And uh, for trading, I asked him to trade something. He actually was in the mood for coal to trade coal for uh, what's it, emerald and emeralds for sword. So that's that. It's not a very big village. But anyway, uh, let's head on back to my farmhouse, which is almost the same size as this entire village combined, eh? 
And uh, now for the announcements. Um, yes, I'm gonna start building a castle again. But this time, I'm being very clever about it. I'm updating and backupping my save files every build now to make sure that if something happens again in future, I can always load this world back. I will not lose this world again. Now, I know you guys might be saying, oh, just another castle. Oh, it's already so stupid. Yeah, but this time there's a difference. I promise you guys. I actually got my hands on the old Mahjong or Mojang fortress build, the building book. And uh, it's a very interesting book. It's almost like playing Lego with the manual. You know, if you buy one of those Lego models and you sit with the manual and you build step by step, that's exactly how the, the book looks. I'll show you guys in just a short while. And by the time of making this video, I've already started building my fortress. And it's one of the most difficult builds I've ever done. Uh, specifically the portcullis. In the next video, I will show you guys the portcullis and how difficult the mechanism is for making it actually work. So I have been busy with that and it took me almost three days, three to four days, just to get the port colors build correct. So uh, let me quickly show you guys what the book looks like. So if you're interested in seeing this build and I, I, how I'm gonna build the entire fortress from the book, then remember to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of the next video that I will load up for this build and then don't be scared to drop a comment and uh, I'll show you guys what this looks like on the next video trust me this is difficult but I love this manual as you guys can see that it's a very nice manual but uh, yeah the quality is not 100% but uh, it's, it's fine I like the way it shows you how to build a proper tower it shows you how you can mix up the towers and put different things in it depending on your style which I've already done I've already changed my style that guys is the portcullis that's just the other gate that thing took me almost three or four days to to get it right and it's still not like this I had to change it because of one flippant piston that's not working and I cannot figure out why but you see how complicated this mechanism is, how complicated the build is. And the book is not really all that clear in some places. I had to actually look for another YouTube video on the person that actually built the same fortress to see how they built this gate. And I followed step by step and still there's an issue. So stay tuned for the next video where you will see how this castle is going to turn out. So anyway guys. Until next time, whatever you do, keep it safe. Cheers.